Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another resin project. So today, I'm going to show you how I'm using a few molds, this one and another button mold that's actually still curing in the bathroom, to make a few really cute buttons. This one specifically is a Christmas button. It is Santa's magic button. It says on it, silicone and hair, right? It says Santa Claus, and then at the bottom it says if found, return to the North Pole. It is really cute. So the whole concept behind Santa's magic button is that once you make them, you can leave them under the tree or by the fireplace and kids find them. Um, and it's just kind of a fun thing like, oh, this popped off Santa's coat. Now, obviously you don't have to do that. A lot of people, once the kids find them, hang them on the tree, they become an ornament. One of my friends asked me to make a sign. So I'm going to be showing you in this video all of the resin components to making these buttons. And then I will leave a link below to the Cricut cut files to make the sign that goes with it if you would like to make the sign as opposed to hanging this guy on the tree. But you can definitely just hang it on the tree if that's your preference. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, y'all. So we are going to get started. As you can see, I have quite a few projects out here. So when I pour resin, I like to be able to mix up quite a bit of resin maybe in a couple colors. Today I'm doing iridescent and rose gold and then pour a few projects at a time. That way I don't have to just do, you know, a couple, couple little bits of resin. So first we're just gonna go ahead and mix resin and then we will jump into each project individually. So first things first, since I'm doing two different colors, I'm going to go ahead and mix, I think, I'm thinking 300 milliliters in my big cup here. So I'm gonna do 150 of A, 150 of B, and mix those thoroughly together. Once I get everything mixed up and ready to go, we'll, we'll switch. So make sure once you're actually working with the resin here that you have your gloves on and that you have your respirator on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my respirator on and I'll, I'll try to put some instructions up here on the screen since you won't be able to hear me anymore.
ready to demold the buttons. So these do have holes in the middle, but they demold the same way. So we're gonna pull on the outside. And then once you get to the middle, just kind of pull it away. There we go. That is so cute. And look, not any bubbles in the surface. You can read all the letters. Put a bit of paint in there so that you can really read them. Oh, and the little tag. Okay, so it says, if lost, return to North Pole. That is so cute. I mainly wanted the button for this one, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this guy. Oh, I can't even pick him up. All right, now, obviously, these buttons came from a different place. They're probably not, th this is a really high quality mold. So we will see, I think at least these big ones did well. Yeah. Oh, that did really well. It actually looks like a real live button, guys. Like, I don't know that I'd want to use a resin button on clothes or something, but you could. Oh, that's cute. This one has the little lip around the outside, so you can see they are different designs. Now, the other thing to take note of is these are going to go flat on a sign, probably. But when, when I put them in here, I did try to overfill them just a little bit. It worked better, as you can see, on these smaller ones. But resin, as it dries, it kind of sinks in. So these, I don't know if you can tell, they're not quite flat on the back. They are curved in just a little bit because that resin really sunk in. If that's something you're trying to avoid, then keep that in mind. So this one you can see has one, two, three, four spots where itty bitty bubbles were. They were itty bitty and from a distance you can't tell. But the smaller the space, the more bubbles you'll run into. Like this one you can see has had a few bubbles there on the, the top rim. And you saw me digging with this guy to pull as many of those bubbles up and out so I could pop them with my heat gun. Toothpick works better, but I didn't think to bring one. There we go. That guy will need to be trimmed a little. Oh, that one's almost perfect. I think I got these four pretty good with no bubbles. Yeah, that one's good. Still need an idea for what to do with all these buttons, but I wanted little buttons to go with my big button. Oh, that one's cute. They're all cute. Perhaps if I make these over and blush, I'll make these and blush too, so I'll have two sets to pick from when I'm making my sign. And the baby button. So there you go. They turn out super cute. All right, I'm gonna go and start working on the sign. Sure when you do this that you're really pushing the paint down into those crevices because that's really the only part we want to keep painted. much easier to read. Ta-da! All right, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed this project. Buttons are actually a quick and easy resin project. Definitely beginner level, even though you have to be very careful to get all of those bubbles out so that when they cure, you don't have holes on the front. But once you learn those tricks, quick, easy, you can make lots of them at once, which is nice. 
and look how cute they are on my side. If you like this project, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, all the things so that you can watch all of the fun Christmas resin and Cricut projects that I have planned for you this season. Bye.